Hi and welcome back to Yellow Case. In this video we're going to take a look at how to make a print using Adobe Photoshop Lightroom 3 using the Epson black and white print driver. And the reason I'm going to show this is unlike other printing videos where I've showed you how to use custom profiles, Epson has a built-in advanced black and white driver that produces beautiful black and white tone prints or neutral prints. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to select one of my true black and white images, which means it has no color information whatsoever. Here's one I took of a rock band in Omaha a long time ago. And I'm going to select from the top right the print module. And the first thing I'm going to do is set up the page setup. So on the bottom left, I'm going to determine what size sheet I'm using or what size sheet I want cut out of the roll I have loaded on my printer. So again, if you have an 11 by 17 sheet that you're loading in your printer, you would set it here. Or if you have a, let's say, a 24 inch roll and you want to cut a 24 by 36, you would also set it here. I'm going to select from the format for, I'm going to select my Epson 9880. I can select my paper size if it's already set up. Now you'll notice up here, uh, these are the default sizes that the Epson paper comes with. For example, that 11 by 17 sheet I was talking about. Or if you have a roll paper, for example, a 17 inch roll, then you can cut an 11 by 17 out of it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set a custom size down here by selecting Manage, Manage Custom Sizes. Now I'm going to set a 36 by let's say 33 out of here. I'll click the plus sign. Scroll to the bottom where this new page is hidden. Double click on the word untitled. The first number I'm going to enter here is the width of my roll, which in this case is 36. So I'll say 36 for width times the height. I'm going to do a 24. So I'm doing a 36 by 24. I can either tab or click to get to this width size. Now keep in mind what I just typed in here, the 36 by 24 is just a name. It doesn't actually set, it doesn't actually tell Lightroom what size your page is. This is for your reference only. This area here is where we're actually going to be telling Lightroom what size page we're using. So once again, 36, I'll hit tab by 24, tab. And then I'm going to tell it I, once more that I'm printing to my 9880 so that it knows what the non-printable area is. And the reason I'm doing that is that every printer has certain margins. Now there are printers like mine that has zero margin. I can print edge to edge on this one. But if I were to print to a different printer, I might have a margin of let's say a quarter inch all around that is non-printable. And Lightroom needs to know that. So once again, I named it. I created the page size that I want out of my 36 inch roll. I created a 36 inch wide by 24 inch high piece that's going to be cut out of that roll. So I hit OK. And by default, it selects that roll or that page size. The orientation, in this case, I'm going to keep it as portrait. And I'll explain why here in a second. If I hit OK, you'll notice that the roll is going to be long on one end, 36, and high by 24. Now my, pay, my print, my image, was already a horizontal image. And the page size that I created is horizontal as well. So that works out just fine. So assuming that these are, this is a setting that I want, the borders on the sides, which I'll get into another video, my page setup is done. The next thing I need to do is go to Print Settings down here on the left. I'm going to select the printer, in this case, once again, the 9880 from the list. I'm going to scroll down here to Layout and select Print Settings. Under basic, I'll tell the printer if I'm using a roll paper or if I've loaded sheet paper. So I'll select roll paper. The media type that I'm using, which is enhanced matte paper at 
for this print and the print mode advanced black and white Now yours will probably default to this here AccuPhoto HD which is a fancy way of saying color we're gonna wanna print the advanced black and white photo under color toning we can select neutral cool warm sepia I'm gonna select the neutral and the output resolution I recommend just sticking with 1440 2880 uses more ink and it's really hard to uh, distinguish any improvement between the two so 1440 high speed does just that it actually prints it faster and the way it achieves this is by printing in both directions meaning it lays down ink when the nozzle moves from right to left and from left to right I'm gonna select advanced color controls and you'll notice that by default the tone is set to darker now this neutral we selected in the step previous uh, to this one and we can change it so we can select warm if we want and you'll notice a little preview here shows you sort of the tone that's gonna come out and under tone I can select how dark or light that tone is gonna be the default is darker I usually change this to dark or normal depending on how dense my image is you'll also notice that when I select to change either one of these let's say to warm and then dark on the bottom you'll notice that there is a uh, color wheel and there's a horizontal um, value and a vertical value and if I adjust that that changes I can just click and drag on this little plus sign and tell it how much yellow how much towards red I want or towards the cool end towards cyan and blue if you move it and decided you did not want to move it just go back up here select warm again dark and it gets set back to where it was you can always uh, adjust brightness contrast shadow tonality highlight tonality and more over on this end here but I prefer to do this inside Lightroom or in Photoshop I don't want to change my image values as it prints I want to do it to my original once I'm done here I click on save on the right side of Lightroom if I scroll down there are a couple settings here you want to make sure you have set now where it says print resolution it defaults to 240 in Lightroom you can leave it at 240 or change it to the standard 300 PPI print sharpening if you're printing on matte paper like I am you can automatically have it increase the sharpness on output by turning this on and selecting whether you want low standard or high sharpening and whether or not you're using matte or glossy paper now here's the important part under color management because this is a black and white and because you're printing to the black and white printer driver you're gonna want the Epson printer to manage the color which is why I have managed by printer selected here if I were printing using one of my custom color profiles I would select the custom color profile down here but I'm not so I'm gonna select manage by printer essentially what we're letting Lightroom do here is output the image as it is and letting the Epson printer convert this to that nice warm black and white setting that we set up under our printer settings at this point all we have to do is click on print one and we're done otherwise you can click on print change the number of copies let's say we want three of these and if we wanted to make any changes to these settings we could do it again so it's a, a little bit redundant but I don't normally go here unless I need to change the number of copies or make edits to uh, settings let's say I you know what I really don't want it to be warm I want it to be neutral I could do that now and then click on print